Hello, everyone, and welcome to our 2023 Fire Red Leaf Green Tournament. I'm Tucker, and we have G-Shark with me. Hello. Just about ready to go. These racers, we have Wave Warrior, Bouncy, and Matt. First race of the tournament, too. Right, the other one hasn't started yet, right? Yes, first no. race of the tournament still. What, a, what an opening, too. We got Wave Warrior, who's finally got... I think he, had a, he still had, like, a... 202 last year, but he's finally got he's got a 20207 just from practicing. So it's finally entering the tournament. Bouncy's been on the rise too. And then Matt, the surprise entrant, never having played this game before. But all the skill from Gen 1, so we know that he's capable of keeping up. Here we go. So Bouncy actually leads pot 2, so both of these rounders, Wave and Matt, were, you know, not too excited to draw Bouncy as their pot two competitor, but you know, they're gonna Boun do the best. Been... Pot two is pretty, pretty scary too this year. There's oh yeah, some... for sure. Yeah, there's some people. I mean, even even Bang, who is like, he is a two hundred five still, has got what he he was beat, Ananan and Icy in a race just the other day, so. Yeah, in a race setting, anything can happen. So I would not be surprised if there's an upset here. Yeah, we've got, we've got three decent Squirtles as well. Um, I'm a little concerned on waves just because 18, de 18 defense with with 21 HP is still not the best. Like you need minimum 16, 16 defense for the for the mild if you're gonna run it in a race realistically. But at least with bouncy. He's got 31 HP to back it up. Yeah, 31 HP definitely helps in some areas. Um, so what we, what we can expect from this race is Matt's probably going to play it safely. Matt did say that he will be trying his hardest to finish this race no matter what. Uh, Matt's not ever done like a PB attempt of Fire Relief Green, but he is he's done a couple of races in preparation for this. And uh, it doesn't look too bad at the game. What can you expect? The other thing to note is that Bouncy is the only one of these three that's doing early surge, which I mean that bodes well for Matt if he's trying to finish a run because that's just going to be that much more consistent. Yeah, that's true. Surge is uh, probably the hardest fight in the game, most likely to die. The way I always describe it is Surge is the only fight in the game where you're actually just favored to die. I don't know the exact math on that, but it always feels like you're favored to die. Yeah. So yeah, Wave and Matt electing to do late Surge means that they'll lose 45 seconds to, I believe, top end um, of early Surge. So we'll see how that plays out. But obviously it's very easy to lose time in the Surge fight. Yeah, like for 45 seconds, that's kind of assuming that both like both are played perfectly which is just never the case you you're bound to lose like a little bit of extra time on late surge just from mi uh, missing a important kick on any oddish but at the same time if bouncy dies to wait or it dies to surge just once that like the whole time all the time that he would save from early surge is not completely nullified So while early surge is definitely what you want to do in like a PB attempt, it's uh, most most runners are probably gonna do late surge. Nice one for one percent from Wave Warrior. Both Wave and Bouncy have rats though, so that's nice. They can actually kill that. Whoever took the over, congrats. Wow, two level two rats. Yeah. Oh, that's... No, we, oh, ta first tackle miss of the race. It's been less than four minutes. Yeah, I can't believe Matt already got, he got tackle miss into getting crit by the rat. Balancey actually takes the extra tile and got punished. The extra tile, it's, there's like no, 
reason to it really doesn't save that much time unless you uh, unless you get an encounter on a certain tile beforehand and you can avoid that tile to guarantee only one percent going forward it looks like oh yeah wave and bouncy both went for the level three pidgey uh wave got the four shot but bouncy with a super good crit there so that's all the extra exp that you need from wilds yeah they're they're both solid on that. They've got bubble. Matt's only got one poke, but he's he, what he. I think everyone got Matt only got one encounter, and uh, Bouncy and Wave got two. Which it oh, can sh it can make things pre uh you can save a few seconds or lose a few seconds. But as long as you're not dying on Route One, it kind of doesn't matter. The big problems are going to be Sammy, Sammy, Liam, and Brock. We should mention that Matt is playing on emulator, Bouncy is playing on DS if I'd have to guess, and Waves on console. So Matt has elected to have a 25 second penalty added to the end of his time, so he doesn't start right away 25 seconds behind. Just so yeah. chat knows. I forgot about that. That is, that is an important thing to keep in mind. But Wave, I know, I know Wave does have a wireless adapter though, so he'll get some of the, he'll get some of the load benefits later. It really only saves time in the, uh, like in the hall, not Hall of Fame, in the, uh, Vic, what's, not Victory Road, not Hall of Fame, what's the place called? Why can't I think of it? I wouldn't be able to tell you, because I am not. Familiar Indi enough Indi Indigo Plateau, that's what it's called. There you go. But right before the E4, while he, while he's doing the deposits, it'll save him like a couple seconds. Alright, Matt finds the Pidgey that he needs to kill. Yeah, the one thing about the Pidgey is you don't always want to do that if you have lower attack. And Matt definitely has lower attack. Yeah, 10 IV is... Uh, he's already yeah, using the potion, pick. keeping it extra safe. Wave, just no encounters on the second pass up. Amazing. And Bouncy got another level 2 rats. Oh no. It's yeah, a 78% those... break. Those breakouts are not good. Matt's interestingly enough not electing to go for bubble. Or maybe he was not going for bubble just because he got a Pidgey. So yeah, maybe he's going to kill the rat. We'll see what he decides to do with that. But then oh my god, bouncy with three breakouts three. on that one rat. Goodness. Four, Four. breakouts on that oh, rat. No. Dude, there's no way. He's got him. Dude, he he's got he has to buy balls now. All right. Dude, oh there's my goodness. Are you serious? Oh my god. That's seventy-eight percent. He checks his bag and he's in he's in awe that he doesn't have Pokeballs left. No, there's no real reason that anyone should ever be in that in that situation. That is ridiculous. That's insane. I remember like two minutes ago when I was saying, oh yeah, the real time, the real deciders are going to be Sammy, like Sammy, Liam, and Brock. Not you haven't even the, gotten there yet. One of the first things that can happen, but is super unlikely has happened. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen that in a race. You rarely see that happen in runs because most people just reset after like three breakouts or something. Still a really bad hand. Got a feel for Bouncy. Yeah, that's ugh, that's so rough. I mean, he he'll have to man it. Maybe he can sell Rock Tomb to get some extra money for some Pokeballs. Because it's especially in a race setting, it's just not worth. I think going low, going lower on potions, antidotes, or awakenings just to get the Pokeballs. I think his best bet is definitely selling Rock Tomb. That's going to lose him some even more time.
And then, yeah, Wave Warriors starting Sammy at the same time, Bouncy's leaving, catching Tutorial. Before even the first real trainer battle of the run, we can already see the vast amount of difference that, t that just RNG can play. Wave got a good poison there. I think he just, yeah, he potions here to be safe, uh, but it's a two shot from there, so he is basically through Sammy. And then I'm wondering if Matt will, if he knows about like level three Caterpie strats to try to go for bubble. Killing a level 3 Caterpie gets you bubble? Killing a level 3 Cater Caterpie will uh, get you bubble if you've got- if you've already uh, killed one other poke. If you have no experience, if you haven't killed any Route 1 pokes, then you can kill a level 5 Caterpie and it'll give you bubble automatically. The only problem is you don't get the speed EVs, but he's not really at a speed IV that it matters. Oh, I can't believe he, he got it. <laughs> he got an encounter on the turn. Frame. I can't believe it. Matt did save. Yeah, Matt. So did Bouncy. Matt and Bouncy both save. It's. It's. Not the worst thing in the world to not save for Sammy, uh, especially given they were both at higher ex EXP, but they're also both down a potion. So, if things go terribly wrong, like... Sammy's just one of those fights that can't happen. Alright, Bouncy is at a weird health. Gonna be 8. It's really not that good. Yeah, so he's gonna be in he's gonna be in torrent for the Geodude, he'll one shot the Geodude, but he will level out for Sancho, and if he get if he gets scratched, he's gonna be at a really bad HP for Brock. Yeah, speaking speaking of Sancho, waves through no problem. He's a little bit high already. Oh no, no, he that's where he wants to be. He's level he's level eleven, so the bubble like the bubble will most likely kill Geodude. You can tell right there, Matt for Matt forgot what HP he was at, so he was just he's like he wanted to double check and be sure. Which is even though it's a little slow, it's not the worst idea because being off by one HP can really screw you. I need to miss for wave. Probably wanted that to hit. It's slow. It's definitely slower, and it kind of sucks. But because he was out of torrent, uh, he it actually wasn't the worst thing in the world because it Onyx could go for tackle next turn. Hit the tackle, do more damage, and then he guarantees the range so that he's not he won't have to heal afterwards. Uh, it obviously went for bind, which is not great. But waves through Brocks with like not having torrent isn't the biggest deal in the world because you didn't die to Brock and you still passed it with relatively few issues. I mean waves on just like like, this is where you want to be on, like, a world record run, like, 1335 with one poke and bubble. Like, that's super solid. Oh, Matt's already Matt's resetting. resetting.
Bouncy? Is Bouncy just dead? Oh no, he has a potion, yeah. Other reset for a minute. That is not a good way to start. <clears throat> oh, Boun Bouncy got a miss from Onyx. He's passed. He's past Brock, but that's really high HP. Like, actually really, really high HP. If you don't have Torn here, then you lose like a bunch of turns in Route 3. You okay. more or less double the amount of turns that, you, that you're that you taking, unless you can get Torn from Colton. Yeah, all these bugs, normally a one-shot with Torn, are not one-shots with that. Ooh, we've got a high roll there, and that might be all he needs. No, if he gets a plus two, he's fine, but a plus three. Okay, well, that is definitely all he needs. Oh my god, he's... okay. That's way more than he needs. He should be good to do bug catcher, though. Looks like you got, I think, you got at least one high roll tackle from the first Caterpie. I think he might have got a high roll tackle on the second one as well. Alright, Matt needs to get this range. Easy. Oh dang, I, mi I missed Bouncy. Did he sell the rock to him to get more balls? I also missed that. Um... Hey. I was definitely supposed to be paying attention to that. I saw Wave sell a rock to him. And didn't have those issues. <laughs> so... I mean, it's not... Oh no, you sell... No, so you do sell rock to him for late surge. You oh, get, right, you get yeah. more you get more potions and you skip the sh you skip the Pokemart in Vermilion City. So you want to get you want to get your paralyzed heals now and you get I think you get a couple more potions. Oh no, no. You get you get all you get all 7 of your repels and you get paralyzed heals now. Yeah, get the wave off, opting not to get the person berry. You really don't need to when you're mild. It's the one percent in Mount Moon. So, what's the person berry useful for? Person berry is useful. There, are quite literally, two fights that you really would need it for. First one is Misty. Uh, Misty. Misty's uh, Star U will almost always give you a Water Pulse. It'll either harden turn one and then Water Pulse turn two if you don't kill it, like get a crit. Or it'll just Water Pulse you twice randomly sometimes, so that's very unlikely. The big thing is for Star Me. Star Me has Swift and Water Pulse, and they're both about the same range, but depending on whether you're Mild, your Rash, or like what your defense IVs are as well, you can get. It might favor Water Pulse, might favor Swift, it might be 50-50 to do either one. And if Water Pulse is favored, which is really you really have to be rash, then you generally want to pick it up. But for something like a race, some people will just pick it up no matter what, because it is because start you'll still usually get a water pulse from Star You. And even though it's 20% to confuse, 20% is all you need to really get screwed over. The other thing is later, depending on your strat for Sabrina, if you don't use it for Misty, 
it can be useful for Sabrina, but it's slow to re-equip because you usually have the black glasses by that point. Gotcha. <clears throat> oh wait, Bouncy didn't get any torrents. Dang. Matt is... Yeah, he's gonna pop out a Torrent right here. Hmm. Oop. What a strange movement from Bouncy. Yeah. Get to see... What kind of balls you got? I think you can still only grab Pokeballs. He he could have he could have water gunned that when he's out of torrent. But I mean he the important thing is he didn't kill Spiro. Would have been nice if he got a peck. Just to bring his HP down a little. Actually, that might have been why he went for the... He went for two attacks instead of going for Water Gun. Why are you repelling here? What? I'm so confused. Okay. Um, wave has wiped. Wait, what? I was looking about. I was paying attention to Bouncy Street. What happened? Who did he wipe to? That is really brutal. Um, he was past. He was past the optional. Um. So it had to be. Did you get like crit, crit by the rocket? Oh my god! Is either the super nerd or the rocket? He antidoted on nerd on the super nerd's Grimer with two HP. That is, yeah, that's super risky. Speaking of risky, bouncies. That not the best HP. Although, is that the first round or second? Okay, yeah, he's fine. That's so. We uh, down three repels now. As well, he's gonna have to factor that in. Probably buy more repels right now. I oh, know he doesn't. He will have the money because he just fought a couple trainers. So he can do the sh he can do the shop right now. Yeah, I think that's the best bet because otherwise you just otherwise you go into Mount Moon and you only have one repel. That's just not good. I'm only a four two there. That's all. Fortunately, that's all he needs. He already got uh, he already got the revive. Right. Um, so he doesn't have to get it. Yeah. So he doesn't have to get it again, but. He will have to make that up somehow. Oh no, oh wave! God. It gets worse. That's that's not the end of the world. But since the wave doesn't have any catches, what is he gonna do? I'm not too sure. Um, honestly, what I think probably should be get maybe getting a catch here because he's like 80% for a good encounter. Or if he doesn't want to mess around with catches and he finds a Spiro, he could just trade that, but that's... Yeah, yeah. okay. Not sure why he went that way. Alright, Pidgey. Pidgey's fine. Um... Is he... Yeah. 
I was trying to think, I'm like, what's the, ra what's the range on uh, Bubble or Tackle? Because no one ever catches a Pidgey on this route with a Wartortle. That's just not been done. And as for the Cutter... Bouncy just got poisoned. There. Yeah, he's gonna have to get... He's gonna have to potion there. And actually, oh no, Matt! Oh does. no! He grabbed the revive, right? He did. He had to grab the revive, yeah. Surely. Quick attack crit. <laughs> I'm so like, I was gonna say that Matt was in the lead after that. Yeah, Matt had the lead for a bit there. Yeah, he still kind of does because he has both Pope. I don't, eh, we'll have to see how fast his other fights are. Because Bouncy is down to catch, and so is Wave right now. What a ridiculous race so far. Yeah, five breakouts at 78%. Um, Wave dying. Wave being so ahead, dying and catching all the way back up, basically. This is insane. That is not normally... And Bouncy's the first one out of Moon. Is he... Oh, he's going for Paris. Oh yeah, he's on Fire Red, that's right. Here's the Paris. Yeah, he can't go for Sandshrew. That's pretty bad, though. Yeah, that put him into Torrent. That water gun kills now. Oh. Um. <laughs> that was not a good water gun. You just have to throw here? Yeah. Yeah, you just have to throw. He probably should have bought more balls, too, because that's like... Oh, never mind. Okay. got it. It's... that's... One of the biggest... There's two big reasons that people generally don't go for Paris. One is that it has, it has Stun Spore, so it can really screw you over, because you don't generally get Paralyzed Heals unless you're doing Late Surge. But the other reason is its catch rate is really not as good as any of the other possible cut users. So, yeah, I think it's ridiculous that he got that ball for that one first ball, but there were five breakouts on that rats. So the best moon time was twenty six fifty eight, but they're actually all pretty close. Yeah, he picks wave. up the great ball. Wave still has to catch a cutter here. 60%. It's crazy how this race is close right now, but for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> At the same time, though, I feel like it's very... Very fitting for Fire Red Leaf Green that this is the first race. <laughs> Everything that's happened so far is kind of kind of just telling of how bad <laughs> how bad the RNG can be. <clears throat> Are we going to get a sub-30 Misty at all? And Bouncy get this in sub-30? Uh, yeah, it should generally only take a minute. Less if he gets the, uh, one of the headshots. But, like, as long as he doesn't... If he gets a standard fight, it, it'll be less than a minute. The rule of thumb is generally about two minute, about two minutes from when you teased. enter. Oh my god! No, bouncy, no. All right, two turn snap. So. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 
Matt's also confused, but he has a person. Yeah, you definitely want to grab that on Rash, but it sucks that you have to use that on Staryu. They both got confused on Staryu, by the way. First Water Pulse. Uh, yeah, Matt is going to be taking a lot more Water Pulses, though. Okay, nice. Oh. Yeah, Bouncy living off one. He knows his rolls. It's all good. About 29.52. Rats on uh, sub 30. Oh, Matt. 301. Catch up, oh, man. Dude, so close. So close. Come on. Isn't that, isn't that perfect HP for Matt? I missed what his HP was at. Oh my god, Wave's, Wave got crit. Um, he could, that's not good to go for, and he's going for it. It's not good. Yeah, he has to potion here for sure. That's a good roll. He'll definitely, like, I can't imagine that. That's a miss. He's, he's down an extra past. potion, but uh, it's not. If he potions, it's pretty good health for rival. Oh, bouncy with the flinch kick. Looks like Matt was. Uh... I guess it's fine. Ooh, it gets a flinch on Boba. Let's hit the kick. Yep. There we go. Two flinch, two flinch kicks. You love to see it. Mounty does have torrent for a couple of levels, but it doesn't matter too much the main thing you want to be have torrent for level 25 which i don't eh, no he, he definitely won't not at 16. let's see bouncy and matt both got really good rival fights after some problematic starts let's see if wave can match that that quick tech is not a problem. Ah, oh, sleep powder. He does have the revive though, so. Unfortunate miss. Now falling further behind Bouncy and Matt. That, yeah, that miss was really not what he needed. Yeah, already like a minute behind. It's a real chance that doesn't take the lead again. Yeah, I mean we'll have to we'll have to see what happens because these are not that's not the only kick you're gonna have to be hitting. Yeah, bouncy already. Is that a range on money. Abra? It is because when you're wave. not in torrents. It is a 13 out of 16 range. I see. Well, he confused Abra and it put it so. So that's funny. It's such a. There's very few places where that can happen, where you can miss a water pulse range, but then it confuses and hit its it hits itself. But it's it's such a meme when it happens. Mm. 
Nerdy, it's 13 out of 16, I guarantee that. Yeah, you could you could just kill it with bite, but that loses two seconds from the critical or the super effective text. But now we're now we're at a pretty mellow part of the run. Not much can really go wrong for at least a couple of fights for everybody. We will still have to hit the kick on the next Oddish. But there is, there's a strat where you just don't do that and you go for double bite. It's not the worst thing in the world because he's not going to get any pow he's not going to get any powders. He's going to get either sweet scent or absorb and if absorb crit could put him in torrent for a little bit. Yeah, wave, wave win for double bite. It's such a good strat in a race because unless you're unless you're really in range to die to to absorb, nothing can really go wrong. You can't get status. Uh, you save a kick. You can just get flinch and then it doesn't have a chance to attack you. Or even if it does attack you with absorb. It can put you into torrent for longer, or in torrent at all if you're not in torrent. Yeah, Matt's coming in like 15 20 seconds behind Bouncy. But they are going to be doing different fights here, so it's, it's going to be the first time where it really starts to... Ch to we're going to see some actual changes. Matt Hi doing Hiker Franklin, because he he's at a lower attack. Bouncy's past Dan, so it's, it's almost refreshing having the bill split right where it is because you have Brock, which can cause so many problems, Misty split, which can cause so many problems, and then right after Bill, you have Surge, which is I don't think I need to explain why that can cause problems either. Yeah, but then the bill split, it can't like you can lose time for sure. And it's definitely can be a little frustrating to lose time on the bill split because you you think like it's the bill split nothing should be going wrong but there's also no there's also like at most three three or four things that can go wrong and they're pretty minimal other aside from rival one or rival two He hits kicks. He does only have two kicks left. But if you if he wants if he wants to, there's uh he's in torrent right now at level 25. He can try to water pulse this Oddish. It is a, I believe six and sixteen range. Yep. That's about it anyway. Yep, doesn't doesn't even need to go for it.
kind of sucks because the oh my god wave hit Dan uh, that's I mean that's another like 20 20 ish seconds lost I need double talks yeah Dan you have a 1 in 16 chance to uh, to get hit if you do the fast pass but he's only a one turn fight so some people go for it some people don't it's Honestly, it can um, it can still benefit you a little bit because if you're in torrent, because it'll get you level 25 for that last trainer with what? What's her name? Haley? I think it's Haley. Yeah, but yeah she. It's a it's annoying because that first oddish, if you're in torrent at level 25 for the first oddish, it's a 13 and 16 to KO with water pulls, so you don't have to go for the mega kick. But the second one is a 6 out of 16. You'll see that every so often where two two Pokemon in the same fight you have to use different moves on because one has like a bit a higher or like a better nature and it'll, therefore it'll have more special defense or something. Finally, on this, uh, we're on the third split for Bouncy. Matt's not gonna have to worry about that or Wave, but Bouncy, since Bouncy's in the lead right now, it's even that much more pressure because he's if he get if he gets it, Surge first try, that saves so much time. Yeah, and it makes it. it so much harder to, for Matter Wave to catch up. But if he dies once, it's anybody's game. How far behind is Matt right now? He's like twenty. Uh, yeah, like twenty seconds maybe. But they're already starting to do different splits, Matt. When you're doing late surge, you don't go for that rare candy because you go for that rare candy after after SSAM because it saves one whole turn frame, which is eight frames. <laughs> so you pick it up like a full three or four minutes later just because it saves up, it saves eight frames, which. I think it's funny because it's so small, but it's still a speed run at the end of the day. Whether we're racing or not, like, why not save eight frames for free when you yeah, can? No reason not to. Guess we have to keep in mind that Matt's gonna have that 25 second penalty. Gets blocked by the NPC. That girl. That girl's such a troll. I, I swear she knows sometimes. When he like went right into her. Wait, asking if he can do the three poke hiker and rock tunnel with slowpoke EXP. That is a very good question to ask. It's very. That's one of the things that's gonna like at the end of the day. I think really separate a lot of not necessarily just these racers, but all. It's gonna be deciding factors for all races. Is how many backup strats do you know, given exactly your current situation? There, the third floor, the third area of Rock Tunnel. There's five areas you go through. The third one, in regular any percent early surge route, you fight. I don't remember their names, but there's one with uh, an Onyx Geodude and then another Onyx. No. Two Onyxes in, it doesn't matter, two Onyxes in Geodude. And that one's faster because there's another one that you can, there's another optional that you can do where he has four Pokemon, I think one much one Machop and three Geodudes. And you do that generally in late Surge to get 
the more EXP you need because you haven't fought Surge yet. And you need that to get to level 33 so you can level up three times with rare candies. But Wave knew he had the experience from hitting Dan. So now he can take the slightly faster Rock Tunnel optional. Bouncy gets past the Ivysaur. Nice. Yeah, let's go for another kick. Lands it. He is he is basically past rival. Wait a minute, at least seed. <laughs> because he missed. That did. Oh, oh no. no, another another kick miss. You kind of have to. I hope he saved before that, because that's. This is a bad, yeah. like, a super bad situation. You're gonna have both pokes dead, for sure. I did catch him saving, so... Okay, good. Um, yeah, you, and you have to go to the other one to get off of sleep. I like that Wave is still saving, because he knows he's a bit behind, but it's not too much. Oh no, Matt, missed another kick, and it's another poison, or sleep powder. But like I was saying, I, I like that Wave's still saving, because there's still some people that, given Wave's situation, are just like, I'm already, I've already lost so much time, I'm just going to YOLO things, but it's still the first race. Anything can happen, even if you don't win this race, you just need to advance on time. Yeah. Um, I believe there's going to be four non-first place finishers that still advance. No, ten. Non-first place. Yes. There will be 20 people advancing out of the 30. Mock oh, right. has I mean, a buy. I mean, like, without getting, um... Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. You're right. Yeah. Ten people... All ten first place finishers will advance regardless of time. And then you will have the opportunity to advance. Even if you're in third place, if you get a good enough time, better than someone else's second place time, you're good. Alright, wave is good. No torrent, but he is at least past the Ivysaur. Goes bouncy on cans. That's very stuck. I mean, because Finners can't actually, actually get stuck in this game, yeah. but then they still do. It's not like a Gen 2 where, where they can they're stuck, they get stuck for yeah. 8 seconds. So small little op optimization you can do on Bouncy's screen. He found the first can, and what a lot of players will do is they'll actually go fight that uh, that trainer he's fighting right now and then save just so that after they do cans they only have to save once and if they die to surge they uh it's a quicker reset because now if he die now if he dies to surge his well his options are either he saves again right before surge like right now or it's just a quicker reset yeah, now he didn't save before Surge, so if he dies to Surge, he has to do that that other fight again. So that's an additional 20 seconds, at least. Great. Now we're on probably the most, at least the most important fight of the like early mid game. Oh wait, that's so bad. He did he get he crit, crit by, by Shockwave? Yeah. I need to stop tabbing out even for like a second. There's so he got citrus berry. I didn't notice that. Oh my god, that's the one time. Uh, citrus berry. Citrus berry is so je like very rarely useful, but in exactly that situation, it was perfect. Oh. No way! Oh, dude, he didn't get the headshot. Imagine. What what's happening? It's actually still good because two water pulses will kill from here. Yeah. He just needs to land this through. 
This is not unreasonable. 6 percent no. no! Oh, come on, you can do that. You can do it. No, he hasn't double teamed, actually. He has one double team up. Oh, he does? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Potion. Oh, you're just gonna super. Oh, he does- t he tanks too! Right, because Ooh, he's that's... mild. Yeah. Battle 28. Come you gotta on. hit this, man. No! Oh, my god. Uh, you can super potion again and it'll go for quick attack. No! Is he reviving? I guess so. That's crazy. You never see someone revive on Surge just because of... Well... You never... You're never living at half. Yeah. Oh. Man. You just gotta hit it, man. There we go. Okay, he's through. He still lost a lot of time, so that's still at least like 30 seconds of potential lead from doing early surge that's gone. But yeah, he's, he doesn't have to worry about it anymore. It's definitely way better than that could have been. So it was also a nutty fight. Voltorb Shockwave crit into Citrus Berry proc into crit the Water Pulse crit the Raichu. I, I want to see who say who says that they've seen a surge fight that like that before because th they definitely haven't. Just curious, what's the range to get the one shot on Raichu with the crit? If you know. I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah, it's, I don't. I don't blame you. Because nobody really knows crit ranges. It's yeah, it's a little weird because you generally don't. It's it's pretty bad. Um. Other, because otherwise, if it were a good range, uh, you would generally want to go for a double water pulse instead of water pulse kick. But. So you took it out a lot of it, extra grass. It definitely is possible, though, to get the crit one shot, and it's so nice when it does. The other thing that's really nice is, like we were talking about earlier, you crit water pulse there, and then it confuses and hits itself. Oh, wait, actually, that can't happen because uh, it'll, Surge will full heal instead of super potioning, which is actually still even better because you just get a free shot. Okay, we've got Supersonic Mist, that's good. Matt had the alignment on the Maniac Talk, but went in front of him anyway. That Funny. does happen sometimes. It's a Pokemon Center. No way, where? Right there. Wait, that's crazy. I didn't know they had Pokemon Centers there. I definitely always found that sh found that strange. They're just a random Pokemon Center. Yeah, wave just slightly behind Matt. But... One of the one of the next great equalizers is uh, coming up for both Wave and Matt. So wait, Matt, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't water gun that really. He's at a. Somewhat scary health for Martha, though. Yeah, definitely a smart save, especially with with late surge, because you're down a you're down a level. Oh, sweet scent is so good there. 
Not a torrent, so it has to bite again, but gets the range. Nice. And now he's got basically two chances to hit the kick. And he doesn't First even need the connect. second one. Wave going into Martha with no save, though. He's at, he has a much higher health, so he's pretty good. Bite flinch, so nice. Oh, he doesn't get the rain. Oh my god, poison powder miss is so good. That could have been that could have been really bad. And he got the kick. He got the first kick as well. The rest of these fights are pretty chill. Whereas, yeah, the only... There's one more Oddish uh, that everyone's get, gonna need to kick. Uh, Bouncy can still get screwed over by Martha. Uh, although he's... Yeah, he's high, high special defense mild, so the range... What is the range on the... On Bulbasaur hitting... Killing you there. Yeah, he's not in range to die to Bulbasaur at all. Okay, now he is 1 in 16 to die to Bulbasaur. Only to only to do Razor Leaf, and it's not guaranteed to go for Razor Leaf, so. Yeah, the rest of Rock Tunnel is mostly just don't don't bonk and don't misclick moves. Matt just missed the puff range, but disable miss. Yeah, and for I think that's right. With that, with late surge, there's that really, yeah, fourteen out of sixteen with without torrent. Uh oh, that's just poison. Oh, that's not good. You gotta hit this man. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hush. Uh, he still is... I think that was his last kick. So he'll probably have to double bite the Oddish later, which can be... No, what do you... Got a heal? Oh, you're... Yeah, you're such... Eh. I guess he can. But are you just... Oh, being at that high HP is pretty dangerous for later. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if that was quite the play. I mean, we'll see what happens, though. What kind of HP are you looking for here, generally? It's so it's super. It, it's super nice to be in torrent because there's a few there's a few points where it matters. Uh, the first one is that uh, you get to use more water guns instead of water pulses. Uh, in on the uh, so, on the rocket hideout split and there's also the first trainer in the rock in the rocket hideout that's actually in the game corner is uh has a eradicate that you can water pulse if you're in torrent but you have to kick it otherwise it will not die to anything else as well as the fact that after giovanni you want to have torrent you want to have like not super high health but he's going to be evolving, so if he doesn't get a lot of damage from really just Giovanni's Kangaskhan, he's going to be at a ridiculously high health for the La Lavender Tower rival, and that that means he's going to have to stall a couple extra turns, which can be dangerous. But that's... It's one of those things where 
you have to be thinking so far ahead about your about your health and exactly where you want it to be. Okay, so he did have an he did have an elixir there, so doesn't have to worry about the kick. Wave is definitely not that far behind Matt. Matt's buying extra super potions for safety. I know. I guess you. I guess you buy super potions here for the uh, for late surge. You definitely don't buy a repel, uh, revive though. Wave is buying that revive for safety. That's not not a bad idea at all. Yeah, Wave is less than ten seconds behind Matt. So not at all a runaway. And then I would I would say that Bouncy is pro has probably lost the lead he had because of the surge fight. But he's still he's not behind at all. It's gonna be it's really hard to tell. But I mean I'm kinda just guessing. It's really gonna be kinda lav Lavender Tower arrival that you'll notice that you'll be able to kind of like mostly tell. Use the repel that late. I guess he had an extra repel. All right, Matt, Matt and Wave both missing there. They're both they both missed their kicks, and then they both went for the same strat where they they water pulse in hopes that that Raticate will quick attack them and put them into torrent before the water pulse hits. But Wave actually got the strat, which now puts him ahead. No! Uh -oh. Matt's confused, come on. Oh, oh my. Is he dead? Oh my yes. god, he's dead! Where does he go back to? Oh, jeez. Did he go back to... Where does he go back to? That might be cell that might be cerulean. Yeah. yeah, Cerulean City. No, he has to go all the way through Rock Tunnel again. Wow. That's one of those super underrated backup strategies that no that I think people still don't really go for. Is just on the off chance you die, just Go to the lavender. Go into the lavender town, Pokemon Center. But it's so it's so unlikely that you die there. Yeah, Wave just like took over in that fight, and oh, Matt's just like securely in last place now. It, the crazy thing about that is they were both in the same position. They went for the exact same strat, but the Raticate quick attacked Wave and did not quick attack Matt. If it had quick attacked Matt, Matt would still be tied with Wave. That's just super unfortunate stuff. He's going for the revive here. Smart. Excuse me. Is Wave? I think he picks up that calcium just for money. 
Yeah, probably, because he bought an extra revive. He had to buy some extra repels earlier, so yeah, it's not the... Not the worst idea. I, yeah, I think he would have to bought the calcium, or got the calcium to sell it. No, he's out of he's out of repels. Yeah, down forty five hundred. Dang, I would not I would not remember exactly how much money I was down. I so badly want to tell Matt to just like go into the Celadon Center just in case, please. Oh my god, I hate how Matt takes that movement. So did you, uh, right before entering that door, there's that one scientist to the left. And what you can do is it's pretty easy to line up on the top, line up just from the tiles below so that you go straight up and past him. But some people, like apparently Matt, will do crazy movement where you uh, bike directly into him and then move up afterwards just he out of his line of sight man. yeah it's i don't know what that trainer has but it's that's so it's so scary to see that oh <laughs> my he got the bike crit of course <laughs> i'm getting the worst possible luck on the fight he just gets bike crit and doesn't have to deal with eradicate at all So how far ahead is, uh... Oh, they're probably tied. Mm, it... Yeah, that would be my guess. It's, again, hard to say. Because the... Like, the Surge split is... Like, Wave still has to do Surge, which he'll do right after this. Uh, and he wants to be in he, he wants to be in torrent for that as well. He's at an alright health. If he gets like a if he gets a bite from Kangaskhan, he's kinda chillin'. He's gonna level. I think he's gonna level out a torrent for Raichu, or maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. I'm not sure. Still not super used to late surge. crazy to me how after all of this he like bou bouncy had five five seventy eight percent breakouts in a row and he still i'd say has hit, like suffered the least amount of time lost this run overall yeah i'm trying to wrap my head around like how bouncy was like that far ahead and now they're like tied or even bouncy it was uh i mean it was the search fight Really? That was that much? It, it was like over a minute. Ahead of Wave? I mean, mm. it might have also just been better movement in Rock Tunnel as well. Because the, the... The big time saves are, you know, big. But you can... One of the underrated things in a game like this is you can still lose so much extra time just from absolutely basic things 
uh, one of the, like one of the things that when I started running the game I didn't realize super early on was I'm like why am I getting such bad rock tunnel times and I realized it was because instead of talking to every trainer I was just running right in front of them and that loses you like 20 seconds just by doing that it's like an extra two seconds at least for every trainer that you walk in front of instead of talking to and there's how many trainers are there? There's about 10-ish. I think maybe 8. Looks like Bouncy's stream is frozen. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I was worried because I saw Mega Punch and he was at 27. I'm like, did it? Yeah, it wasn't finished. Die. The issue part wasn't on draining yet. Looks like stream went down. Uh-oh. We're back up. Yay! Bouncy is not back up though. Not the first try or second try. For Bouncy raise. crash. Okay, there we go. Um, that <laughs> trainer God. is also stuck. So what happened with Bouncy then? I think we're just waiting for his feed to come back. Like that would be the logical explanation. There we go. He's back. Yay! Ooh, that's pretty high to heal there. Yeah, Bouncy... Oh I guess God. Bouncy still is... still is ahead. Nope. Not... I don't know, by a full minute? We'll have to see. Yeah, I'll, I'll time the lavender top, the uh, lavender rival start. Still pretty sizable, like you know. But the you thing is, definitely be happy. Starting at lavender rival, they're still not fully caught. Like, like the sinks. Yeah. yeah, the the one thing that's still there is uh, wave. His, Wave and Matt have already gotten the tea, and they've already talked to the guard, and they've already been to Saffron City, so they can fly there instead of having to bike there after er after Erica. So that's still at least like another 20, 25 seconds, I would say, total. Saving. Yeah. Not given the way this race has gone for all three players, not the worst idea. Yeah. I don't think Bouncy did. All right. So, given given their the start on tower on the tower rival, waves what a minute nineteen behind, which is probably more like fifth, like fifty fifty five seconds.
A lot of things can make up that difference. Oh yeah, there's there's plenty of game left to play. Yeah, especially E4. Yeah, E4, E4 alone kind of makes it f feel pointless sometimes to even do the rest of the rest of the race. Kind of just getting a lead so that no mat. Oh, mat. That's an optional. It's like three pokes as well. Yeah, but you can at least bite these. There's more water gun. on cans, see if you get something decent. Eventually you'll find it. Yeah, Alright, right side cans. Unfortunate. Up to 15 can. That is the last can. Very nice. Matt, de uh, Matt definitely got the worst cans luck, I think. Although we've had third reset can, so that that puts it back at about even. Yeah. First try there. First try 15th can is still probably slightly better than like third or fourth reset can. He's, finally, a strat he's familiar with. Yeah. Alright, gets torn. Like wave is less than a minute behind. Like still maybe only like thirty to forty seconds.
Matt is unfortunately very behind. That'll be like... Six, six, seven, six to seven minutes behind. Quick attack was probably not the best. at the kits he needs to. Oh. I don't know if that was safe from Bouncy. Yeah, Three up, I'd... I'd... I feel like if, if it were that simple, then, like, we would be doing that. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of... That's what I would think, but... What, you go... They can move once every 32 frames, use six tiles... Six frames per tile on the bike. That's... Four or three tiles? No, that might be safe! If you if you do the bagman if that might be just safe. Yeah, they're saying waves thirty seven seconds behind bouncy. That still pr uh still probably doesn't account for. Being able to fly to Celadon and having already talked to the guard. Still probably another 15 seconds. You know what the craziest part about this race is? Matt could still win. Well, it would take a lot. And like, an astronomical amount of bad luck. I mean, yeah. But, I feel like it's not, it wouldn't, yeah, it might be the craziest thing. But the but craziest thing to happen so far in this race, and that's saying something. The craziest race in the tournament so far. True. There's no competition. Literally. Actually, I, I can't tell what, what's happening in the other race. They seem to be doing fine. They're all like yeah. fighting the same guy. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. all pretty pretty neck and neck. Seems like no one's died or had five breaks that breakouts yet. I also think it's funny that Matt's been the only one who hasn't really been having streaming troubles, but he's the one that's not streaming to the yeah to the server. For the record, Matt was the holdup. Yeah, he wasn't. Race. There wasn't a he wasn't able to get like connect to the server properly without keep it keeping dropping. So he's 
streaming on his Twitch, which is now looking more reliable. <laughs> Speed gaming new all along. We're going. Cra we're going to be crawling back to speed gaming next year. Like we're so Please. sorry. Yeah. Please run our turn. Like we're we're crawl like we're crawling back to our toxic ex. Like please, I need you. I didn't realize it. I need to. I need to figure myself out before I realize that I need you in my life. The wave is well. I can't tell tell right now. Okay, there we go. I think waves at a weird health. Is he not able to potion? Good. Yeah. So he, hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So you wear candy here. So that's... He's not in range to die, is he? 18. He's not in range to die from muck. He's also not in range to die from wheezing. Just barely. Yeah, he... He is one out of the range to die to Weezing Sludge. Uh, and because he's at level 42, it is 11 and 16 range instead of the 6 and 16 that you see, that you'll see from a... Uh... Wait, what happened? I was looking at ranges. How did... How did Koga heal on Bouncy? No! Oh my. Bouncy's dead. They still have revive. Wait, forgot to save, but it doesn't matter if you just get the range. Damn. What a guy. Oh, he has his lead. Is he a Bouncy's still making this work, he hasn't reset. I mean, he should have... Should have this fight. It's pretty safe HP. Uh... Is that plus one, isn't he? Oh, man. Yeah, but plus one still just gives you the Here's normal. Nice. The 11 and 16. Plus one, unfortunately, just puts you at Torrent. And I think he is in range to die oh, now. <laughs> okay. Oh, Matt, no! Wave now has a pretty, pretty decent sized lead against Bouncy. Uh, no matter what happens, please don't hit another bi biker. Oh! No, what did you just say, man? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> he said please! Please practice. No, I'm just kidding. I said, please. And these passes are no joke. Very, very much like one of the things you have to practice the most when playing this it's, game. I think of it as like more advanced Dan pass, where it's, where it's like, okay, if you mess something up or you get hit, it's not the worst thing in the world. Except with these ones, it is. 
it's so much more time loss and it's but it's so much harder to do it perfectly nice pickup right also nice pickup is thinking. Oh, thinking again. Nice. All right, time for Blaine. I think he was probably thinking about his health. Did he teach Blizzard? Did not catch that. And if he doesn't, he can just teach it. Teach it on the Erica split. He just needs to remember. <clears throat> I feel like Bouncing and Wave are much closer. Than were before. Maybe Wave did teach, but Bouncy didn't. Well, about, uh, so for the early early surge route, you te you do a menu on the Erica split, you do a double rare candy, and then you teach Blizzard, so Bouncy sh so Bouncy would not have taught Blizzard yet. Yeah. Uh, but just going by, I'm, there's still some small things with the late surge route that I'm not super familiar with, mostly around the mid game, like around here. And it says to teach Blizzard to Blastoise on the on the Blaine split. And he did, okay, cool. Yeah, fortunately everyone's got high speed. Wait, what? Matt hit an optional in the gym. <clears throat> like, who's, who's Hypno is that? And then I remembered, yeah, there's no... Let's be that hypno surely, right? Come on, Dan. Oh, he hasn't taught surf yet. Oh, that's so bad. Clinch is good. Wave, you just have to not say yes to Bill. You say no. Nice. Too busy getting this torment bread. Okay, Matt, you, you have to teach you have to teach surf right now. Oh, okay. Yes, which to wave would probably be good. Actually, that's probably not the worst idea there, yeah. Gonna lose a lot of time from the bite. From the bite, super effective text, but at least he's alive.
Yeah, so Wave's gonna pull slightly further ahead too, because he doesn't have to menu on this split. And Wave can do X spec strats if he wants to. Alright, I don't, I don't know how many surfs he has. So generally the <clears throat> generally the play for Erica is you you blizzard victory bell, bite Tangela, and you blizzard Vi Vile Plume. Of course blizzards are both are 70%, so doing two of them can be a little risky. The backup strat is you but you if you're in torrent, you surf the victory bell it'll die with, with a surf and then what the wave's doing you expect he here bite bite tangla it'll still die it dies anyways and then torrent torrent plus expect surf will kill vile plume and he doesn't have to go for blizzard very nice yeah it's you lose you lose a turn and you do have to be in torrent for it to work but especially in a race, it's just super worth it. You don't want to be the guy who misses five blizzards. <laughs> he still has to do self co. I was confused. I was like, wait, Wave's not that far ahead, right? He just went straight to Sabrina. Also past Erica. That is past Koga. Yeah, and then self rival fight is you always save for that. I don't care if you have five revives, revives and all the extra, all, all the extra X items in the world, you always save for this fight. Rival fights are just too... You can get too screwed too quickly. Yeah, it's just two ninety-three percent that you have to hit, but you need to hit them. Yeah, and then waves like looking it's a little low. Did he get crit? Oh no, he X act first. Yeah, like if Wave, for example, misses a blizzard, he and him and Bouncy are neck and neck. He loses all that time. Matt's grabbing Carbos for Sabrina. Okay, thank god he played that with safe. But same deal for Bounce. 
for Bouncy. If Bouncy misses a Blizzard Wave, it just, just pulls so far ahead. Bouncy is through the blizzards as well. Nice. <clears throat> kind of the like one of the few scary things left is is at the moment really all all they have to worry about. There's one there's one small range on the Kangaskhan uh, for Giovanni three. No, Giovanni 2. Um, Sabrina... They can't... They can't Carbos for Sabrina, so they both have to... X, both Bouncy and Wave have to X back. And then X after the... Yes, X. So yeah, they both... There's a 13 out of 16 range. They can get... And they can get Fake Out from Kangaskhan. And then they have to X, X speed for Sabrina. But aside from th aside from that, then there's Viridian Rival, and then they're just at E4. Easy oh, game. Yeah. And but then we can worry about E4 when that happens. <clears throat> We've got the range, nice. I was explaining earlier the one <clears throat> the one point where you where Prison Berry is really useful after Misty is right here only because you go for the X speed and because you go you go for the X speed generally on Venomoth and Venomoth can't confuse you with Psybeam I believe it's 10% but 10% is all you really need There is also the option of X speeding on Kadabra, but most people don't take that. <clears throat> Kadabra can either future sight you or sometimes it'll go for disable. So it's it's a little weird, but future sight will do more damage overall. I guess like there's like a an HP range where you're okay with doing it on Kadabra. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world, but v Venomoth just is better in general. And Wave is n now through Sabrina. It's kind of crazy how you have some of the worst, you have some of like the worst fights in PSR in this game. You have Brock, you have Surge. And then you also have one of the easiest possible splits in all of PSR, which is the Giovanni 3. Yeah. Really? Nothing special about this split? No, you can... You use water moves. Yeah, you use water moves. If you're in Torrent, 
if you're in torrent and you haven't completely screwed up your PP management, then there's nothing that can go wrong. Yeah, like just compared to other runs, like the Blastoise, it's not really that good of a main, but like there's no better option. There really isn't, sadly. It does its best. It tries so hard. I'll be honest too, it's not... Like... Even though Blastoise isn't the best... The majority of the problems you have... Are not... On Blastoise. They're... Like, the majority of the problems are... Squirtle... Are like when you have Squirtle or War Wartortle, other than E4, but I, but E4 is kind of just E4 can be problematic with just because of the Pokemon that they have, not necessarily the Pokemon that we have. Yeah. Basically, E4 waiting room at this point. Yep. Why even that? Looking for Matt to hit some blizzards. Got one. Definitely way too high to do expect strats. Maybe you could just do two expects. Ah, oh, never mind. And Matt has hit all of his blizzards. Big interesting things for E4 is gonna be how they choose, how like all these players choose to do saves. I think it saving for Agatha is, in my eyes, for a race not an option. You always save for Agatha at the very minimum. Saving for you don't need to save for Lorelei really, as long as you like you can play it a little extra safe and you just don't die. You can get screwed over a little and lose time, but it's really hard to die at Lorelei if you play it if you play it extra safe. Yeah, it also like depends on how many X specials you have. You can die. Yeah, that. that too. Um, but then Matt, no! Oh my god, that scared me. Uh, but yeah, the. Lore Lorelai is the easiest to not save for. Agatha, you definitely have to save for. The other three fights are where you kind of have your decision making. Bruno, like, they all have their good arguments to save for, but if you're in a close race where there's less than a minute between you and the next player, there's it's a pretty good argument to not save for them. But at this, but at the same time, in round one, you just want to finish. Yeah. So say, saving on all five is not saving on all five fights is not unreasonable. Even that, I would say, like, there's no reason to really save for Lorelai. Going on to the final fight before E4, which is still one that's a little scary. Being a scary fights not on his own rival fight. Oh yeah. Chill. And untimely crit can definitely change things.
Yeah, I don't know. With this amount of, like, time loss between uh, Wave and Bounty's run, if they get second place, like, how do you feel about them advancing on time? Pretty safe or not very safe? I think they're both, as long as, like, nothing goes wrong, um, I think, as long, like, if they both save for all, like, all five fights and they don't die in any of them, I think advancing's pretty... Like, they have a, like, very solid chance to advance whoever gets would get second. But, the pro- um... Like, the the risk isn't do- Like, risking- Yellowing E4, is, the risk isn't, um, do I- Am I risking first or second? You're risking being in a- You're risking, like, being in the next round or not, because second doesn't- Yeah. Like you have such a good chance to advance at second place for the uh, for both wave or bouncy, but if you yolo the, if you try to yolo the wrong fight, you go back to the you go back to your last save or back to the start of E4, and then you need to get more X items as well. So you yeah, can it's yeah, the hardest punish for like a non-save would be an E4. So yeah, that's what uh, like. I that's why I would say that, like, if I, like, the safest saves, obviously Agatha, I feel like Bruno is a good save, and I feel like you, I feel like if you're, uh, any of the four that aren't Lorelei, it's the one that you would risk not saving on would be Lance. Because if you, if you don't save on Lance, you definitely saved on Agatha. And then you reset. You reset to do Agatha again, which sucks. But Agatha, if if everything goes right, is the fastest fight. It's two, it's like two minutes. So you do lose those. T you do lose an extra two minutes, as opposed to just say 10, 15 seconds worth of saving. But that's if you choose to make that. Meanwhile, if you don't. If you don't save for Bruno and you die, you go back to the start of the E4, which is terrible. And if you don't save for Champ and you die, and you didn't save for Lance either, then you go all the way back to Agatha. Yeah, I feel like the incentive to save here is just too big. Like, it's too big of a risk if you're, if you're like, even trying to get first in this race and you end up dying then yeah it's just kind of uh, it's unfortunately one of those things you just have, kind of have to accept where the like the game can just screw you by giving you bad e4 fights and that sucks but it's how you hand it's how you handle that that'll determine whether you move on to the next round or not Yeah, and besides, Bouncy's, like, even, like, not, it doesn't even seem like a full 30 seconds behind. Mm. Time in the Victory Road entrance. Yeah, twenty I count twenty eight seconds behind. Which is okay. That's really not that bad. Like Yeah, it's just not bad at all. It's it's super risky for about for both bouncy and wave because yeah, it depends on how greedy they are. Like do they want the do they really want the first place and are they gonna YOLO some saves for it? Because two if you YOLO two saves like for bouncy, for example, and your fights go just as well, you're basically tied with wave, and the, it could come down to one or two seconds difference. Same thing for wave, though. If you you're like, I, I'm, I want to take them all safe, 
but I want to take one not safe just because I know Bouncy's on my tail, that could be the fight that everything goes wrong. You can definitely, like, just save time even if you don't die. Like, just how the fights are in, in the C4. Like, if I were Bouncy, I think I would still save for, like, most if not all the fights. Yeah, I, I think I would too. Expect if this were around two, if this were around, I think three, I round round three forward, definitely not. Round yeah. two is a maybe, but around one, this it feels like there's no good reason to. Doesn't seem like there's any hard chokes in VR. Uh, you have to, yeah. Bouncy would have to hit that double battle trainer, which. So you you have to do that basically intentionally. Yeah. All right, here we go. E four. And he, he's saving for Lorelai too. I respect it. The other thing, though, we have, we've been talking about mostly saving, but we haven't been talking about, like, how much time save or loss there is between the fights. Hailless can, Hailless can determine this race for sure. That's two. There's safeguard. You generally want to see Safeguard a bit later. That's probably turn three hail. No? Just needs this one one turn right here. Yeah, yeah I'll turn four. Okay. I'm lucky. Nerdy, uh, you get the yellow hand by pressing select. So the yellow hand makes it so you just grab the poke without bringing up the screen that says like deposit or deposit or store summary. Yeah, the that that turn of hail is kind of the worst. And if you want, if you see hail, you want to see turn one or two. That's the best time to get hail. But if you get hail later, then it it goes over to cloister. So cloister also knows hail, and it'll sometimes try to go for hail instead of protect. But if hail's up, it will not do that, and it will almost always go for protect the uh, first and it'll very likely go for double protect. The other problem is Slowbro is not an ice type, so you lose an extra like three seconds to just hail being out when Slowbro's out. So that, yeah, turn f like three, four, five hail is definitely slower. Yeah, interesting to see that a wave didn't go for Two expects and then bites. <clears throat> Try to get flinches to stop Gale. Yeah. The uh par paralysis. He could yeah. If if you're playing safe, you full you full restore here. Just like play around a crit. It's still like a three and a half minute fight. You don't wanna have to reset that. Nice flinch nice. though. He also got a few. It's also a good. Um, he got a good roll from Lapras. There's a very weird thing you can do, where you actually, if you get a bad roll from Lapras, you can, you can full restore turn one still, so that Onyx gives you a better roll. So you're just slightly lower health, and you're that much. You have that much of a better chance of getting into Torrent for Agatha. It's definitely it's definitely slow. Don't get me wrong, but it might 
Like, there's always the chance that you're off by like two points of torrent and get just get trying to go for the slightly better roll on Onyx will become worth it. Bouncy gets a very similar Lapras 2 wave. Ooh, Rock Tomb Crit. X special, X special. Dude, no! Oh my gosh. Earthquake quit. You have to, yeah. You super potion that. You might have to super potion twice. Um, yeah, he's doing that to be safe. And then he, then you X speed and go. Oh my Dude. god. You just cannot get set up. He's full restoring? Oh, he's gonna go to he's gonna go to three and just say fuck it. That's fine. This fight is so complicated. <laughs> it's just it, it. So many of these, so many fights in this game, and dude, just like that, bouncy's in the bouncy lead. Bouncy is in the lead. Because he didn't get, like, triple crit. <laughs> you you got to get Earthquake here, please? Yeah. Nice, okay. Okay. Yeah, that just... Terrible. The problem with so many of these fights aren't the fights themselves. It's for what you need after, which is Torrent. Setting up Torrent is the problem. Brock would be no, wouldn't be that much of a problem if you didn't need Torrent for the next route. Same with this. It, Bruno would not be a pro really a, be a problem if you didn't need Torrent for Agatha. <laughs> Thirty-four yeah, is a magic number for these. Yep, yeah. they're both fine. They're both alive, but it's... Yeah, that that Bruno lost waves so much time. Just like that. One bad fight. Just the whole race. Yeah, but there's still three fights to go, and they can go just as bad for Bouncy yeah. or Wave. You can die to Shadow Punch crit here. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, no, please, no. Okay. Uh, oh, is he out of Super Potions? Oh, maybe. If he's out of Super Potions, yeah, that just, might... You just have to, like, hope? Yeah. Wow, okay. That well, might... You might see a bunch of lead changes. Yeah. Wave still has two Super Potions left. Double Team Turn 1 is good. Shadow Punch is ideal here, I guess. So, the, the, honestly, the best thing you can get, really, is triple oh. Shadow Punch. Because you lose a turn, but you're guaranteed the Surf. It's not better top end, but... Two oh, misses, no. yep, you would've wanted that. Does he... Goes for it. Oh, but damn. Okay. What, a, what a lad. 60%, by the way. Nancy also has hit. They're... And now they're neck and neck. Basically tied. <laughs> like, like, that's crazy. Uh, rest of the fight is free, so yeah. Dude, they're yeah. within they're within like two seconds of each other now. Alex is playing on DS. Doesn't he lose time because he's doing that? Mm, like, do you mean like how emu good. how like emulator how we? I, I just think by like I think I've heard that DS runs so pretty funny. I, I think it runs slightly more slightly closer to sixty frames per second, actually. Oh, it's so like slightly faster. No it 
I was told it's slowest, but I'm trying to think, because I'm pretty sure, like, by... Like... Like, constantly, like, 57... 57.7 something, and... Uh... DS is 57... Or, like, 58 point, like, two something. Or no, A yeah. source is oh, no, telling yeah. me that DS is the slowest. Yeah. Uh, literally, like... Yeah, yeah 59.7275 for console. Oh, is DS 59.65? Okay. If it is 59.65, then yeah, DS is just slower. Alright, both saved. Here we go. Safe or Thing risky. is, they're both mi they're both mild. Oh, so that's too much for risky. That's so. I mean, you can at thirty one, but that's so. That's so bad to go for. And you floor store here. Play floor stores. Dude, no! Crit. Okay. That's fine. Alright, Wave is now ahead, but he's... There's gonna be a range. He's in crit range for the Aerodactyl. This could come down to a 7% miss on either side. A crucial setback. The green crit. And it's another blizzard. Alright. They both got one more to go. But, and very importantly, Bounty is. Bounty misses one. He is not. Um, yes, he does no. not have to elixir. Wave has got his. Very nice. Let's hit all of them. Nice. Wait, just to poke ahead. He's on boost. Okay, no, yeah, no boost. That boost is one of the worst things you, you'll ever see. Bouncy does not get ancient power at all. Matt is starting Lorelei as well. Wait, 18 lands for wave. 208.25 for Bouncy. Seven second difference between the two of them. Uh, Bouncy Crit could make... Save. I think there's... Like, you gotta save. I... First... Wave does. Yeah. First is not... It First is so cool to get, but it doesn't make the difference. Alright. Here we go. Champ fight. I think it's funny that they're neck and neck in the race, but, but their save was 203 for Wave and 202 for Bouncy. <laughs> True. Alright, how fast can they get to Torrent? So the thing is, Torrent will save time. Uh, Torrent will save time now, but they'll have to heal later. Healless champ is so good. And Wave is not getting hit at all. It's Feather Dance and two Sand Attacks. Three oh Sand Attacks. And he just go. He goes here. Wave is... No hits. No hits. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You want know Bouncy has Torrent now? Yep. Things go perfectly fine. Then I think Wave takes this. She just has to exact hit gear and gear to this. You fight. Oh yeah, because he's you're... got it. All right. All right. That flinch is so good too because uh, Venusaur setting up Solar Beam or even Growth takes like an extra like three or four seconds. But Bouncy will definitely have to heal for. Uh, I bel I'm fairly certain he has to heal for Gyarados, right? 
Uh, he might be just out of range. 21. 53 is a magic number. He is out of range. He's out of range. Oh, could that's go so for good. This. Could go. The thing is, though, if he get, um, if he does get thrashed, he has to heal for Arcanine. About a flinch. No, he does not get it. Right, that's GG for Wave. Uh, GG. Wave wins. Wave wins, yeah. The difference maker. Really clutch champ fight. Yeah. And, uh... That, that Lance Gyarados Hyper Beam crit. That, 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 it's kind of the decider. It's yeah. like... Very close race. Very nice opener to the tournament. Wait. Wave wave wins, bouncy second. But let's not forget we still have Matt going into Bruno right now. It's like a two twelve for yeah, two and two twelve for both of them. Yeah. I'd say that probably moves on. Two twelve, like the, I think the average benchmark is like two fifteen. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. You just you get below a two fifteen, you're you're kind of chilling. Unfortunately, not looking like that's going to be the case for Matt though. Matt, is 50 still good torrent? <laughs> 15 second difference. 15 seconds. That is just a one heal. decided this race. Welcome wave, congrats man. Congrats, GG. That was a very meme E4, I will say. Yeah, that was pretty exceptional. <laughs> I uh I got hail late enough to hit slow bro. I got a Bruno. <laughs> Qualified as a Bruno. Missed twice on Agatha and then got perfect lances and chain. That's a chain. You also yellowed the last hit on Agatha as well. Well, I have no other option. Really. I saved before the fight for a reason. Didn't you have super potions? If I super potion, I still died to two. Shadow Punch so I had to super potion twice just to get one more chance. And then I'm in the exact same situation, basically. Okay, then yeah, you were... I thought you were high enough that you could super potion once. I'm 18 mile, my dude. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I don't know why I keep forgetting that Miles... You might you might have been right. I wasn't looking, to be honest. It was a range to kill me at my super potion. So. Yeah, you're right. I it wasn't was, looking. It was, a pretty in, it was a pretty interesting finish with you, you and Bouncy being so close. For sure. But I also... I can't help but think mostly about the start of the run for everybody. Yeah, yeah. I had a plan going in, and then I got in a situation on Route 3 where it was correct to not catch anything, and then I forgot that I had nothing, so my revive was useless. It was a whole thing. Okay. I couldn't catch anything on Route 3 because I would have died to a crit, so... Yeah, you were... Delay. Yeah, you were super low after Colton. You got, you got three hits, and two of them I'm... were high rolls. I, the entire time before Colton, I was debating, all right, do I save for this fight because I'm out of Torrent? And I'm thinking, all right, the only way this is bad is if I can get exactly String Shot into Tackle, into Poison Sting, into Tackle, with maybe a Poison in there. And that is exactly what I got. But I didn't yeah. get you got more. You got more damage on Colton than... Also, I got high rolled on all three of them on Colton. 
I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't sure about the wheel, but I definitely noticed both the Caterpie tackles higher than you. For four on all three of them. That's just I'm complaining. It worked out well. Bouncy's joining us as well. Congrats, Bouncy. Yeah, good job, man. Close race. GG. I didn't have potions, so my Koga was just garbage. I forgot I to save for Koga, exact. but managed to get the 11 and 16 range. Like, the red was the whole problem for me, man. He, like, I just messed up my, my shopping because that has never happened to me. I don't know what's the backup. I, I don't, I've never seen that happen. And it was a, that was a 78%. That was an easy 78%. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame and, you. Yeah. Oh, I, I just messed up and bought less potions. I should have bought more potions. I could have afforded it, but I didn't. Yeah. I, yeah, it's uh, that's not something that anyone has backups. For. There's backups for so many things, but it's hard to have a backup for missing like five breakouts at 78. percent That's just uh, that's uh, I didn't not see, you got a ton of breakouts. So he got all five breakouts on a level yes. two rat that was a 78 percent chance to catch. Yeah, that really sucks. And. The only thing that couldn't happen on Agatha was uh, Shadow Punch turn 1 because I don't have super potions and of course it happens and then I have to reset. Yeah, that... I, I thought that if I was to full restart it would be slower than just... I was reset. wondering how I was ahead of you at Agatha. Yeah, because it's <laughs> Shadow Punch turn 1, of course. Just had to happen. You don't have to reset that you can full restore and then do 3 specs. I could have full restored, but then it would be slow. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, resetting is also slow, but I mean, I I yeah, risked a 50-50 death as well, so... I just thought that resetting would be better. It... I, also, I feel like I, it, it wasn't, I, like, I, wrong either way. I befuddled Nerdy by picking up the calcium in Rocket Hideout. <laughs> yeah. I, I was down, I was doing math, I was down around 4 grand. I knew that calcium sold for 4900 so... I would say because I I knew that you like you had to get some extra extra appels and stuff and you bought the extra revive you bought an extra revive yeah, for like during in lavender so I was like yeah picking that up for for some money but I wasn't sure how much you were down. Uh, let's see, that's on Lance. Oh, I'm gonna head out. Thank you for the race wave, everyone. Yeah. For the Have a good one, Bouncy. Congrats again, man. Yeah, good race. Close thank finish. You, <laughs> yeah. Matt, pretty pretty unfortunate for Matt. He was still do he was still doing all right and still keeping up. He died I, several times, I think. I the main thing, the main one that really set him far back, because he was slightly ahead of you exiting Rock Tunnel. Mm -hmm. And then you guys were exactly, you were like neck and neck on the uh, rocket fight in game corner. And then he, I missed something. I think he definitely, he died to the Zubat supersonic and he hit himself in confusion, which he shouldn't have. I don't know how that's possible. I guess to miss input. Yeah, I think he miss inputted. But I also noted, like, you guys both went for the strat where you water pulse, hoping Rat's gonna quick attack you, and you got it, and he didn't. Yeah, I mean, it was the correct play I wanted to keep two Mega Kicks. Yeah. No, it, like, it's def definitely the right play, but, like, that one thing, dis that one thing yeah. deciding it. And then he, he hit a couple of optionals. Uh, and the rest of the... After hitting the optionals, hit two two bikers on cycling road. But after that, it seemed like everything went pretty smooth. Yeah, I I messed up my biker pass, but I got lucky. Quote unquote lucky. It was only one in sixteen to see me. And yeah, Matt's going into uh, champ right now. Did he save for champ? I missed that. I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't. He did, yeah. Yeah. I think it was oh yeah, he, he hit one in Koga's gym as well. That's right. Wasn't it two options in Koga? No, it was only the, only the one in Koga's gym. Because one of them you have to fight. Oh. Awesome. I'm really glad I burned the best Lance and Champ I'm ever going to get in, you know, the race first round. I mean, no better time than round one, right? It's not like there's any higher stakes in the future rounds. Three percent. 
It was crazy because there's so many th things in just the E4 that could have swayed it in favor of you or Bouncy. And yeah. I think the very final one was just you getting heal lifts and him not. I got crazy lucky at the end. He's X speeded. I'm, I'm confused. He must have used Act on. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. By accident. That made more sense. And it works out the same. Yeah. Because you only need the X speed to outspeed Alakazam, I'm pretty sure. I have no clue. But, Maybe? I mean, you definitely need it for Alakazam. Maybe Arcanine? But I can't imagine you would need it for anything else. Let's go, my pickums. You're going exactly as planned right now. Yeah. And there's the second there's a second race going on right now. Yep, that one too. My um, third DNF. place pick has DNF. Very sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to root for that, but you know. Oh, oh okay, so Leaf did not necessarily DNF. GG Matt. Yeah. That's good showing. Four, that's the 24 to a 224. Two good showing, Edicate unfortunately. Etiquette is currently fighting a, uh, a, a biker. Oh no. Why would you use bite? It's a fighting type. What are you doing? That didn't kill, did it? Oh my god, you're so lucky. What? It was he got gun, you're <laughs> he, he what flinched you the Mankey at two health, he bit again, it didn't kill, but Mankey got flinched. Well it was That's... seismic toss. So no chance that he was dead to that. Well, no, he was at two health though. Yeah, in the second turn. So if it didn't flinch, he was dead. Yeah. Oh it's... stop biting! He must be out of everything else. That's the only thing that makes sense. How much time did Matt lose to the the death? It was like five. I don't know about five full minutes. There might have been five. It might have been like five minutes because he went all the way back to Cerulean. He had to go through the cave. I don't know about five minutes though because he didn't didn't have to do any fights. Congrats, um, Matt, on finishing. Yeah. GG Matt two twenty three. GG Matt. Yeah, probably two to three minutes, and then like mm -hmm. another two to three from the optionals. Congrats, Matt. Hello. Animated. Oh, did. Thought I did all right up until Rock Tunnel. You you did it like it did it. It wasn't. It definitely wasn't the worst thing. And then. No. Um. Even Rock I Tunnel didn't. itself wasn't too bad. It was just. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was once one I day. wiped, I started hitting optionals like crazy. <laughs> Yeah, which that that'll time, happen yeah. once you kind of, once you have like one major mistake, you kind of just p people can lose composure. Yeah. Like you had a lead for like not fights, yeah. for not a trivial full, amount of time. Blaine. That was fun. You had sorry what on Blaine? I poke fluted on Blaine. Oh, I missed that. Why? <laughs> I thought I was stalling for a red bar, but then I realized the red bar for Torrent. <laughs> but then I realized Fire Blast wasn't doing shit. Fire Blast, it's also really dangerous because you you can get burned from that, and then yeah, your only option yeah. is full restore. Yeah, it seems really bad. But yeah, I think yeah, if you didn't hit, if you didn't wipe to that option, what happened? Because why why'd you die to the Zubat? Uh. I miss Mega Kick, and then I got uh, Hyper. F no, I got Hail Whip out of Torrent. I was out of Mega Kick, so I went for Light, I think. And then it, uh, you scary face on me. The Zubat was, uh -oh. was faster. Oh, okay. Yeah, so then the Zubat used uh, Supersonic Hit, and I hit myself. That is or what I imagine was ideal. about the exact HP that I have. Yeah, yeah, 11. you were like at eleven out of eighty something. 
Was I 11? I thought it was like 18. 11, yeah. Okay. 11 out of 80. Maybe it wasn't that Evan? exact then. Probably hit myself more. It was still pretty Confu close. Confusion isn't a uh, HP percentage. It's your attack against your defense. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. So how much is, how much would that my have done? My attack is though? low and my defense is high, so probably wouldn't have done crazy amount. But it's all good. I got a lot of spinner passes that I want to do. Sad. But I gotta do them twice because I, I wiped. <laughs> yeah, you gotta show done. Off, you gotta show off that skill twice. That's what I'm saying. I got to go through rock hole twice. First we're gonna finish with this route. Nice. Yeah, it got really close between you guys. What was what was that? I wasn't keeping up. Our only four was my only four was really stupid. It was bad. Uh, Lorelei got turn four hail, which means that the yeah, hail same. lasted long enough to hit Slowbro. Yep, yep. I got that as well. And then Bruno, I went in at like perfect HP, got Rock Tomb crit, Earthquake crit, had to heal, had to heal again, got Earthquake crit again, <laughs> healed the full, Classic and then had to stall. Yeah. Oof. And my Agatha I missed twice and then yelled a 50-50, which hit. And then... My lance and champ were perfect. Nice. Yeah, I mean, this was the expected outcome for sure. <laughs> but it got really close between you guys. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you it... die in this at all, Wave? I died to uh, the scientist in Mount Moon because scientist I okay, yeah. forgot yeah. that my revive wasn't active because I had no catches. Oh no. Wait a second. Did you save prior? No, I didn't save before him. No. So I thought I had to revive to keep me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. he went all the way back to pallet. Oh, wowie. <laughs> this I was unaware of. That's pretty devastating. Are you wondering why you were winning for a while? Was I winning? What? I, you I, were I, winning, yeah. For you like were in a the trivial amount yeah. of time. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was not looking at comparisons. Yeah, bef before that, yeah. Wave was on... I was like, in a lead, and I died to Liam, or reset on Liam twice. That's crazy, man. Yeah, Wave was on kind of a cracked run for a while. What It was like 1337 with one yeah, Pokemon bubble. No, I had, I had no catches. That's the whole oh, point. Oh, no, wait, what am I stupid? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Um, still, 1337 no, I got, I got bubble. two encounters on my first pass. I got one zero on my second pass, and then one in Forest. So, that was pretty crazy. Three so between guessing, all of those is really nutty. I'm, I'm guessing the strat is to grab the extra Pokeball in Forest if you use a potion prior to Sammy. I, this, you should absolutely get both potions. Like it's. Well, I get, I get the Markai potion. Yeah. I get Markai and get Sammy potion. Okay, so, so yeah. No, the th so there's the third potion. Yeah, because like... yeah, I used oh, the potion, the went to Sammy with one, ended up using it on Sammy, and then okay. was in a situation where I need to not get scratch on the... That's rare. Yeah, so if you're go when you're going down, uh, and then instead of going left to Sammy, you go right, and there's... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was also very happy to get a level two. That was my first level two encounter I've ever gotten in Route One, ever. Ever. Five, five or six rounds throughout one. First one I ever got, I missed tackle into a crit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna kill this level three bird. Force at 16 HP. All right, just don't miss on this last turn. It's still fine. Missed on the last turn. That would be nice. Alright, well, Lunch good time. race. Goodbye. Yep, yeah. see ya. Thanks for doing commentary, guys. No problem. GG's Thanks again. Thanks for doing tech, Jordan. Thanks for Gaming. Etc, <laughs> etc. Et Take care, everyone. <laughs>